Good morning. Hello. From Playa Flamenca. No, we're back in town. We're back in town. We're doing an update. And there's lots of new things been happening in Playa Flamenca, which is really interesting. Mm -hmm. So we're having to walk around past yeah, Surfer's, Surfer's Bar. Bar. So you all know where Surfer's Bar is. And there's a great new shop opened. Just around the corner. Just around the corner. Beauty salon. Yeah, it used to be the beauty salon. Not for rent all last year, pretty much. Yeah. And someone took it over last week. It's an exciting new shop. You I shall see that excited. in a minute. First of all, we're going to go into the Willow Cafe, which is new. So that was the Willow Cafe. What an really nice. excellent little addition to play a flamenco. And I've got to say, it's nice to see all the units around about here filling up. Last. Businesses opening up and a bit of normality, Good. getting back to normal and things. Very little sugar, really nice organic, made by Italian family who moved here about 50 years ago. Yeah, so great. interesting. Great. What, what's your best wine? Best wine? Yeah. For me, it's one, <laughs> for you could be another one. Yeah. But I, we really like the local section. Yeah. We really do like the local section. Um, and to be honest with you, probably from every single bodega, we can find something that we really, really like. Yeah. Um, in terms of to be really specific and say 100% that that is my favorite, I can't. I yeah. have, I, I love white, I love rosé, I love red. If, if you're gonna go on this section, I'm gonna show you. This is my husband's favorite wine. Okay. Hey ho! It's a blue wine. <laughs> blue wine? It's a 100% Chardonnay, oh, um, indeed. And um, all this little section here is from a local bodega called Santa Margarita. Yes, and in the, in the picture you can see on the top there that it's actually not just a bottle which is blue, it's, it's the wine it's itself. It's the wine that's actually blue. Yes. So how, yes. do, how do they do that? They do that very easily because what they do, it's 100% Chardonnay um, wine. They, well, they take a little of that Chardonnay, put for fermentation for a couple of hours, the red, red skin yeah. the grape to get yeah. kind of like a red, red rosé wine. Uh -huh. And then they take that same wine, which is red and white wine, put it in a stainless steel container which is a minus temperature and yeah. mix it together and instead of a you know red and white you yeah. separate it you become you become blue so there is no food coloring there is no yeah. chemicals nothing and this you can have a look at it and i'm gonna show you this you're gonna look at this it says vinabis 
Uh -huh. Looks like rabbit, yeah. but in fact, if you're gonna look like that, it's the half of the cannabis. Ah, oh, it's cannabis wine. It's a cannabis wine. Interesting. Four twenty. Yeah. Uh -huh. Is the date? Yeah. When it yeah. was legalized. Ah, oh, and so it's you have got cannabis. Yes. Cannabis wine. Absolutely. So is this the first cannabis wine in Spain? I probably would say yes. Yeah. Um, it's legal. Uh -huh. It's all certificated. We have certificate for it to prove that it's zero point zero zero one. Uh -huh. milligram of cannabis in it. Uh -huh. The allowance is 0 0.01, so we are low, 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 low. It's very, very demanded in Australia. Is it? It's, wow. Yeah, they sell it uh, like, like huge containers, yeah. and they sell it in the supermarkets. Interesting. So it's something there interesting if, if there is something, you know, if you want to get something, just yeah. to get it to your friends and try yeah. it. It does smell. Yeah. A little bit of, of cannabis and it tastes a little bit, but it's nothing, nothing in here. It's like a CBD oil. Almost. Yes, almost like CBD oil. Yeah. So it's, it's, yeah, this section is my husband's favorite section <laughs> because it's different. Yeah. It's different. To get the color like this, they put a little bit of sweet onion in All right. plantation. Oh. Smells raspberries. Yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous summertime wine. As an aperitif, amazing. Perfect. And to get an orange, I'm sure you can guess. Um, yeah. No. 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 <laughs> carrot. 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 So it gets a yeah. carrot in out of it. Yeah. And it's got a little bit of this caramelized, almost yeah. slightly <laughs> sweeter taste. Yeah. Which is gorgeous as well. I'm going to be promoting every single wine now. <laughs> but it's a, this is an interesting section for, you know, it's, yeah. it's not your normal, normal, unique, it's different. It's different and you can't really compare it with the, you know, with the classical, yes. Yeah. Good job. Perfect. Why were we back in Plymouth? Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.